We've only lost one so far. Foxy Love is dead. I will say what I need to do in this game, because um, I think it's going to come back to bite me, is I think I missed the HM cut, so I might have to travel back and get that. Smashing. Right, so... Um, what I was going to say now, now that we're in the game, I can give you an update. So while I was kind of um, bug testing my PC after we froze the last time on stream, um, I decided to just kind of level up some of the, the Pokemon as I was testing, because it fucking gave me something to do for half an hour to see, you know, what would freeze my PC up. And, uh, you know, what wouldn't. But, um, yes, yeah, so what I did is I uh, gave C. Sean some Lord Horn, uh, Big Man, and Suckle. Uh, a few extra levels. No, actually, no, I don't think I bothered with Suckle, because Suckle sucks. But um, the rest have given a few levels. It's just so I didn't want to be kind of grinding on stream, because that's just boring to watch. But um, yeah, we're, we're good to go. So I think I need to head to Rustboro City. Pokenav, is that what I need to Han region. Um, so that's Duford. So that's Edelberg. Right, we need to head back to Rustboro City and get caught, and then come back here. And we're good to go. Is Suckle still MC, or did he give up that life? No, he's given given up that life now. He's retired. He's uh, living the life of a retired mumble rapper. Uh, he's just sitting in a home, talking nonsense. Ah, shit. So, uh, for those of you in chat who want to know what the rules of this game, you can just type exclamation mark rules, and uh, the, the bot will tell you what the kind of rules I'm playing by, for in this game. Right, Chubby Brown is still performing now, which I think is kind of insane. Yeah, I must check him out, because he popped into my head the other day and I forgot to look him up. How, how's he aged? I'd say he probably hasn't aged well, has he? <laughs> Although he didn't look the youngest in the world anyway to begin with, so... Um, where are we going? Petalburg? Yeah. Pin the message. Can I pin a message? I can. Yeah, 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Pin message there now so everyone can read it. Um, grand. Uh, cheers on Lawful for that there, because uh, I would not have thought of that. Uh, where are we going? Left or right? Was right. It's one feckin' bit of grass that I accidentally hit because the D-pad and the PS5 controller are shite. Lilip. Oh, I, could, uh, I think we had a Lilip in the last time I attempted a Nuzlocke. I think I called it the vagina or something. Labia, I think that's what I called it. <laughs> um, sure, we might as well use LC Sean there to bubble him up. Yeah, we don't really have to worry too much in this area. I just need to find the, the Cotter's house and um, take his HM and give it the old Sucky Suckle there. Sucky Suckle, five dollars. Um, no. Yeah, because then we can get that. Because like the TMs and stuff and the, the, the random items in the world are randomized as well, so you never know, we might get something exciting. Uh, that the Cotter's house? Nope. I'm assuming it'll be a house with a sign outside it. Or maybe it's up here. Okay, probably not. Are you a cutter's house? I feel like it wouldn't be like a nondescript house. No. Any cutters? Well, if anybody looked like a lumberjack, it's this lady here. Look at that for a pose. That's the Instagram pose. Just tell her tits and arse out. <laughs> she whinging about cleaning the house, is she? Didn't even read it. 
So I'm just, you know, I've been in a relationship too long. I just, oh, there it is. It just walks right past. Relationship too long. I'm just chewing out women, you know. <laughs> right, how's she cutting? One HM. Is it going to be Linkin Park music blaring in the Cotter's house? <laughs> Just walk in the place covered in blood and he's dead in the floor with his wrists open. <laughs> you find the HM cut on his body. Uh, let's see. Now we need to teach old suckle. Cut. Which one of these fantastic moves do we not want? Constrict, seeing as it's a, it's only a 10 power move. Smashing. Um, now, there was a thing over here, wasn't there? Or was it over here? Didn't need cut to get to this one, but anyway. Keep rap, Mike. Can I come back, son? <laughs> Found a hard stone. Surely that's not worth picking up. Um, what's hard stone do? Well, it makes rock type moves better or something, does it? A hold item that raises the power of rock type moves. Grant. Utterly useless to me right now. I look at big men, and all I can think is about. If they had a curved spine. Curved spine? I don't know. The big man's just kind of posed as if he's the Lord himself. He's just been stuck up on an old cross there. Ducky, a film I loved was Twin Town. They were underrated Welsh comedy drama team. I'll look into him. Revival Herb. Right. That's utterly useless to me as well. Uh, considering this is a Nuzlocke challenge, so I could probably just sell that. Uh, by the way, Ducky, got a fellow Irish YouTuber watching your stuff. Oh yeah, who's that? Somebody I know? Probably not, I, I really don't watch a whole lot of Irish people now at all myself. Although saying that, there's a couple of channels I watched that turned out to be Irish. Which one of them was it? Was it like an engineer or a... Astronomy something, I can't remember what it was, but it turns out it was actually ran by an Irish person. I just never pegged it. Um, yeah, do for it, that's where I'm going. That was your favourite Saturday morning cartoon? My favourite Saturday morning cartoon? I don't know Pokemon was Saturday morning, but that was probably the one I got the most excited for when that was on in the morning. But if you're just talking about like Cartoon Network, kind of Nickelodeon type, type things. Dexter's Laboratory, I loved that for a long time. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Recess was the one that I'd always uh, be looking to watch there when I got in from school. It's an actually great show. I went back and watched that like two years ago. It's still really good. Um, Slade Part. Yeah, a lot of you Irish, or a lot of YouTube channels are actually Irish. I found well more than you'd think yeah like my channel i think is like 200th of the top irish channels granted i've looked at that list and a lot of those channels aren't irish i don't know if they're just doing it for tax purposes to something registering their channel in ireland but yeah there's a lot of channels that you you'd never suspect to be an irish at all lazy boy welcome to the stream it says hi ducky plan on any car related videos are you a jdm lad yourself I know the next car video that I do do, I'll be getting one of the lads off of um, Juicebox, for those of you who know that Irish car channel, I'll be getting them to share one of their stories, I'm going to animate it along with them, but I've yet to kind of think of a good story, or a story worth doing myself yet on it. Or not that I've thought very hard about it, I've just not sat down and done it. Is it worth going into this guy's house? Because I know he does like a weird puzzle thing. I don't know what he gives you. We'll, we'll try it anyway. Sp SpongeBob and Thomas the Tank Engine. 
not Saturday morning. No. Yeah, it's kind of, you don't really store the the time and day when you're a kid from what cartoons you've been watching. Big hole in the school. Yeah, let's go in there. Oh yeah, sure can do a bit of battling in here. Level up. I'll hack and slash my way to victory with the cut we just learned. Somebody should make a mod for this where it's like um, an emo trainer and they only use cut. <laughs> um, a dust bears. I think that's a ground type, isn't it? I think it looks like a fish, but I think it's actually a ground type if memory serves. I might be thinking of a different one. Ah, don't yawn at me, you fucker. I hit him with a water gun at least before he uh, goes us off. At least we've got a few levels anyway. I don't have to be worrying too much about, um, you know, Pokemon suddenly die. I did level them up like right near the Pokemon Center as well, so I didn't venture anywhere further into the game when I was grinding. That's nah, normal type. Oh, um, are we going to wake up anytime soon, Sean? Jesus. I hate those battles, they're just needlessly long. They're not even difficult, they're just a pain in the arse. Um, yeah, there we go. Oh no. Does, um, does, sometimes when Pokemon jump out at you when you're cutting stuff, or is that just a rock smash? I think that's just a rock smash, isn't it? Where sometimes you'll get a, a random Geodude battle. Miracle Seed. I'm guessing that's a grass type hold item. Uh, da, 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 revival Herb. Miracle Seed. Hold item that raises the power of grass type moves. Grand. Yeah, so we're going to get every feckin' hold item before we get at and really of use for us. But sure, look, if we do end up getting some sort of grass type, we have something there for him anyway. Just Rock Smash, yeah. That's what I was thinking as well, yeah. Isn't there like, um, is it later in this game, or maybe it's Emerald, where there's like some sort of invisible chameleon like Pokemon that you have to use a mirror or something on to, to reveal him? So you never hear people speak of men in black that often nowadays, uh, which is a feckin' shame. Yeah, well, kind of Will Smith kind of ruined his reputation a little bit, so don't blame him there, but. You know, before that, I quite enjoyed Men in Black as well. Unless you're talking about the cartoon, but the cartoon was actually pretty good as well, actually. That was like the kind of Jackie Chan's cartoon era as well, wasn't it? Booty Warrior says, After how many consecutive pulls could you reasonably consider playing with yourself as self-harm? I suppose anything more than five strokes after the finish <laughs> would be my guess. Um, no, sure, we leave Sean out there, just kind of get him up to the rest of them. What the fuck is that? It looks like, I don't know, it's like something that would be an angel in Neon Genesis, you know? Let's hope it doesn't like water. Yeah, it doesn't like water at all there. Kind <laughs> of got a critical on A weird looking Pokemon. <laughs> it's just a fucking robot, really. Just a legendary in the back pocket. <laughs> sure, why not, yeah? Was that what it was? Was it a legendary? <laughs> um, Whiskash. 
Um, I bet you're, you're not, you don't mind this, do you? I don't know. There's a lot of... Is, the, is that a water type? There's a lot of water types that are just... Are normal types that just look like fish. It's meant to be an alien, huh? Well, that explains it. Would I rather take a vacation to Raccoon City or Silent Hill? I suppose Silent Hill, because that's just your own demons then, like, and I'm already living with those, so... You know, what difference? Was it Jessica Negri did, um, she did a cosplay of Pyramid Head from Silent Hill? And, um, <laughs> the thing that, uh, popped into my head was, um, Sean Locke joke. Sean Locke, he was on 8 out of 10 cats, and he had a quote for Rachel, he said, that's... <laughs> It's a challenging wank. <laughs> but that's what I was thinking of seeing Jessica Negri in the Pyramid Head. So yeah, it's a challenging wank now, that is. So, okay, would you get pegged by Connie for 200k or get spit roasted for 750k? I don't have either of those amounts of money to pay her for that. So I'll just have to stick with missionary. Um... I need to go through this lad now, won't K11 Micro Toyota Twin Cam. I would take the Toyota Twin Cam. I would sell it for the 40 grand that it's going for nowadays or whatever it is. And then I'd buy a whole fleet of K11 Micros. Ghastly, right, he'll take a water gun anyway, so that's grand. Uh, let's see. Imagine you get paid that much to be spit roasted. <laughs> I think if I ever was a millionaire, I'd, um, or at least a billionaire, I would pay people profound amounts of money to ask, you know, all those like questions like fellas ask each other, it's like, would you do this for a million or would you do that? Or, you know, I'd make all that come true, make it a reality. <laughs> Put people's back against the wall. That was a very difficult challenge. Right, what are you giving me? Got a rare candy. Oh, is it, that can be useful, yeah. I feel like he'd give you a rare candy anyway. Maybe some items just have to be fixed. New Pokemon Legends game announced for 2025 based in Gen 6 region, Kalos. Oh. That like for the Switch, is it? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the story is about, like, streaming, like, newer Pokemon games. I think, like, Nintendo have a stick up their arse about games being streamed and stuff, aren't they? Don't they? Um, now, now that I've caught, actually, I can go this way and cut these trees down. What have we here? Full heal. Okay, that's handy. We take these berries because they have come in handy in the past. You know, I was, uh, I was shopping with the missus the other day, lads. And she turned around and called me a lazy bastard. Well, I nearly fell out of the trolley. Don't fuck it with Suckle. <laughs> fuck Suckle. Suckle can suck my one. I don't know how many chances I had to give that Pokemon. No good. Uh, 
Uh, says they don't really have much of a problem about it now because it seemed Mario Odyssey. Oh, you streamed Mario Odyssey with no matter. Oh. I'd probably have to get some fucking weird capture card for me uh, Switch if I have to do that though. So, like, I don't think they'd be too happy if I went. Um, although saying that, though, I'm streaming this without any issue. Because I don't, I don't think I've I've not passed any Pokemon after this one. This was the last one I, the one I played the death, and the last one I played the death. This might be an int might be interesting for like a future stream. Um, no, actually, I'm not going against the legendary against water type now. But um. Might be an idea for like a future stream to actually give one of the newer Pokemons a chance because the last one I tried to play in past was Pokemon Sword and Shield and um, I got about four badges in and I just I hated the game. I won't. I just I couldn't stand it. Use your horn, big man. Yeah, that doesn't affect big man. He's not a Friday. Oh, doesn't matter how legendary you think you are. I feel like one of these blank spaces has something hidden. Another ledge. Yeah, well, this this whole path has this uh, right cow fella. It has a lot of him in it. So, um, there's him and there's Latios, I think is the other one that appears along here as well. Uh, look, if you want a good... Uh, fun Pokemon game on the Switch, Legend, Legends of Arceus. I've seen that. Is it? That's the one where it's like set like hundreds of years ago. So yeah, I see. I seen gameplay of it. And I was just like, uh, it doesn't look like for me. Did Foxy Love die? Yeah, Foxy Love is dead and gone. Bit the bullet. Can't remember exactly how, but it was it was uh, brutal. Not only was Foxy Love killed, she was cancelled on Twitter. Which is essentially dying twice. Latty ass. Um I just have to keep water going in ya. Because I don't think I have any other thing, anything other than like water type moves to try damage him. And try bubble. That's not going to do much better, is it? No. Latty ass is the female, and Natty os the male. Oh. Latty ass makes sense for the female, all right, doesn't it? Also, Ducky, how'd your avatar gain 20 stone in a week? Oh, I think I just had it, like, sized wrong last time. This wasn't even meant for a stream. It was uh, Rokata, my, my artist for the channel. He just sent me a randomly, just made it up for a laugh. And he made me a chunky boy in it. And I just liked it, because it just sits nicely in the corner. <laughs> Um, water against what looks like a grass type ain't gonna fly. Lord Horn, out you go there. In rubbing memory of Foxy Love, yeah. Rip Foxy Love. We've only one death so far though, so that's not too bad. One death and two badges. Um, no, let's not change. And Lord Horn is still the goat of the team. I'm sure just hit him a couple of kicks there, get him up. Oh, not very effective. Ah, oh, you fucker. Yeah. Yeah, no, don't don't rush, Lord Horn. Not in the middle of a fight here. Just 
you know the, the missus was angry at me there the other day because she says I never buy her flowers. And to be honest, I didn't even know she sold any. Oh, water on water. Here we go. Um, yeah, go on, Sean. You're, ne you're nearly leveled up. We'll let you... Oh, fucking... Water type moves won't work on him. I think I might have asked this before, but I can't remember, so... Skyline, GTR, GTR or Civic type R. I'd take the Civic. I like Skylines, but I don't know. I just love the plucky underdog story of a fast hatchback, you know? Alright, go on, take care, Freezer. Have a good one. There we go, level 26 C, Sean. Ah, fuck. Apparently today is a Pokemon day. Yeah, it was at Catagon said that earlier there as well. Looking forward to getting back to Platinum Nuzlocke tomorrow. Oh yeah, for those of you who, um, hold on, let me just see if this works. I don't, I don't know how exactly this works. But I'm going to try it in chat, so bear with me. So. Oh no, that's going to, that, that probably didn't work. It did, yeah. There we go. So that's, uh, that's Katakin there. He does Pokemon Nuzlocke streams as well. Um, I actually stumbled across him one night playing Pokemon on stream. And uh, he gave me the idea for the, the Pokelink because he had it on his stream. And I thought it looked really, really sharp. So um, if, you're, you know, if you're into Pokemon streams and all of that, by all means, check him out. You're very welcome, lad. Um, it's going to be one of our easier fights here now. Okay, what's your opinion on Young Offenders? I haven't really, like, I've seen a couple of clips of them and they, they have their moments and all that. I don't know, I haven't watched enough of them to really form an opinion of them. I'll just sneak right by that guy, because normally they just look straight at you when you're trying to creep past. <laughs> what's up with this route? Look away for five minutes. And he's fighting a new legendary. Yeah, there's like three legendaries, I think, on this route. I thought it was two, yeah, it's actually three. Moltres is another one. But it's, it's all good for me, because that means you get that extra little bit of, like, experience from them, so you don't have to didn't have to grind as I only give about a half an hour's worth of grinding to get the lads up here. Catacan says, on YouTube as well, like Ducky for those who are interested. Yeah, he is indeed. Check him out YouTube and um, Twitter. Or Twitter, Twitch. Uh, same name. You should probably they find it all through your Twitch anyway. That's how I found your YouTube. Uh, they were fighting this goofy looking gremlin. It's like, how do we design this Pokemon? I don't know. Make, make, make a cow look like a puppy. Ducky Fat or Ted or Mrs. Brown, who's better? That's not even a question. I won't even acknowledge that with an answer. And anybody worth their blood, worth their Irish blood, already knows that answer. Hey, I found finally, I finally found something in a blank spot. A leaf stone, something for evolving grass type. I'm assuming leaf stone. Certain species of Pokemon evolve, yeah. Right, so... Fight this fisherman. I think this is where we get the bike, isn't it? The mock bike. Machamp. Fellow with a triple mohawk. Ducky knows all the answers to sex. He's a duck sex Jesus. 
Yeah, that's why they won't let me near the park anymore. Um, Trump, big man. I don't know what we're going up against, but big man will sort them out. Unless it's a water type, and then we're fucked. Execute. Right, can we um, one-shot him? Because Execute has the explode move, which is really powerful, so we'll try an old horn attack there. Smash. And I love it when a plan comes together. Um, do you have it set where trade evolutions evolve at level 4? Possibly. I, I can't quite remember that rule. I think I had easy evolutions turned on, so I don't... I, I know I have trade evolutions turned off, so basically they'll just evolve at whatever level rather than needing to be traded. So maybe yes, probably. Um, scary face or anything? Stomp him. Give him another face stomp there. Level 9 anyway is going to go down to 1. Execute order 66. <laughs> Clever. I like it. Do you know uh, my ex, Margot Robbie, had a, a tattoo of a swallow on her lower stomach? Uh, you know, kind of above her thigh and that kind of crest between her, her thigh and her stomach. And when I asked her, I was like, why do you have a tattoo of a swallow there? And she goes, so people would stop asking. <laughs> Which I hate the girl. I do. With a passion. Uh, with a passion that gives me energy. But uh, to this day, I'm still like, that's a pretty fucking funny tattoo. I respect her for that. <laughs> If there's anything I respect about that girl, it's that tattoo joke. <laughs> Do you have any tattoos, Ducky? Yeah, I do want to know. I may get one eventually, I don't know. I, I can't... I get sick of a wallpaper on my phone that's been there longer than a month. I couldn't... And then I could never think of anything like kind of meaningful enough to even bother putting on myself. And I also don't like pin. So, yeah. The missus, though, she's fucking... She's almost riddled at this stage with tattoos. I don't think she's a limb that doesn't have a tattoo at this stage. I've had the same wallpaper on my phone for over a decade now. I've seasonal wallpapers. Connie gives me shit over it because anytime she, like, looks at my phone, if it's winter, I'll have, like, a snow wallpaper. <laughs> if it's spring, I'll have, like, cherry blossoms or something. I just like to keep it looking fresh, you know? Ducky, what's your opinion on the 2019 Vauxhall Cross... Crossland? Um, ma Made by racists and uh, runs off pure ejaculate. No, I have no idea what that car is, to be honest. It sounds like something a family would own. And do I need anything here? Do I have... Don't need those anyway. Guard spec, axe region, yeah. I suppose I'll take a couple of awakenings. They may come in handy. But beyond that, I think I'm... Oh god, I suppose I could sell stuff here. Um, Let's go all the way to the top here now and see what we have and we don't need. Metal coat, old item, old item. Okay, yeah, probe hardstone, rock type moves, okay. Right, we don't need that anyway. The one advantage to the Nuzlocke run is you don't need anything that revives Pokemon. Rare candy full heal, you've stolen awakening. And. Yeah, I think we're grand on that front. What do we have? Premier Ball. Another one. I think we found one of them already. No, I didn't want to go in there. Come out. And here we get the bike. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Almost an energetic customer. Me, you want to call me a riddle? I'm the owner of this cycle shop. Your running shoes are awfully filthy. Jesus. Full of charm, this lad. It's just a confidence boost I needed today. Um, did you come from far away? Oh, yeah. Are you saying you come all this way it's from Little Roots? Yep, my goodness. Ridiculously fair. If you had one of those bikes, 
go anywhere. Gentle in the wind, yeah. Can we just get to the pair where you just ask me what bike I want? I think I want the acro bike. What's the best one? I have a little walkthrough open up here in the background, so let me just see which one it recommends. It doesn't recommend either, so... Yeah, we're going to go for the... Oh, free acro. The one that bounces. Um, now, do I have to register that? I think I do. Uh, do, do, do. Acro bike, register. How do you bunny hop in it? Ah, there we go. Oh, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I'm way too easily amused. Ring, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> right, so let's talk to these fools. Do I have to battle him? I probably do. The mock bike is needed for the tower that has Rayquaza. Do I need to fight Rayquaza to beat this? I know people are going to hate me for pronunciation of that because like, people are kind of like, it's Rayquaza! No, it sounds dumb. Right, Sarskit. Drown it in water. Like the spider that it is. Your feckin' source gets no match for Sean. No, but if you wanted to catch him, that is. It may not be Rayquaza <laughs> when I get there. That's the problem. <laughs> I could get there and it could be a feckin' zigzagoon or something. November 20th, Dragon Ball will celebrate its 40th anniversary. I don't mind Dragon Ball. I, I actually only watched it when I was like 17. It was like years after it was released. I think uh, Dragon Ball GT had just finished before I actually got into Dragon Ball. It's one of them shows I actually really enjoyed and then I tried to show it to PJ. I was like, here, check this out. And I showed him like two episodes and it made me like painfully aware of how slow the show actually moves because those two episodes, virtually nothing happened in this fight scene. <laughs> I think it was like when they're in Namek. And it's like Goku was like facing off a of freezer and I was showing him like that bit. And uh, just just for like two episodes, fucking nothing happened. And I just I just got like painfully aware of just how how little happens per episode. <laughs> Mine was randomized to Hitmonlee when I did it on Emerald, oh. Yeah, it could be could be I probably could go for the lols and see, but I'll worry about that down the road, because by the time I think you get there, that you, you have fly anyway, so you can just fly back and change it. Dragon Ball Z, easiest to best to watch, missed an episode. And... A Zubat. So weird, only seeing a Zubat now, this far into a run. And a cheeky bubble there for good good measure. Ducky, would you ever watch Are You Being Served? I don't even know what that is. Um, I don't know what was suggested there. Zoo Batman. <laughs> I suppose Zoo Batman does actually look a little look like a Batman. What the fuck is a lantern? It's not a fish anyway, so this is going to be of no use. <laughs> Absolutely no effect at all. Oh, we got raided. I Tato. Is that right? Am I saying that right? A Tato. Raided with 11 viewers. Well, welcome all in, lads. Hope you, uh, I hope you enjoy the stream. If you don't know me, um, I'm the guy who uh, taught the guy all the tricks who invented Karma Sutra. <laughs> G 
cheers there, Tato. Yeah. It's not actually my natural accent. I'm actually Vietnamese. I've just been uh, putting on this Irish accent for the last three or four years. I'm actually, I think I'm nailing it. I taught Ducky the tricks. No, no, you didn't. They, they, they merely only painted sex on the walls of caves before I came along. It was purely theoretical. Stumbo says, I know you, quite a big fan. Oh, you probably know my videos, so yeah. Well, appreciate the, appreciate the love. Yeah, some, some of you might be somewhat familiar with me, my YouTube channel, all right, yeah. Donkey, <laughs> Donkey invented the Donkey Punch. Oh, I, 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 that was an inadvertent move. I was trying to swat a fly. You know, these things just happen by mistake. <laughs> PSC was off and I'm... <laughs> What's the thickest accent in Ireland? I'm going to say Donegal because I'm Irish and I can't even understand what most Donegal people are saying when they're talking to me. Or the west of Ireland is fairly thick as well. Well, uh, see, Sean's taking a bit of a bait in here. Okay, I know, I get Cork. Cork, you just pick a random inflection and you go from there. So Cork, when you're talking like, you go up and down. <laughs> that's, that's Cork. <laughs> and he calls you. <laughs> yeah, there's a, for those of you who don't know, there's, a, there's two types of people uh, in Ireland. There's Colchies and there's Junkies. And uh, Junkies live in Dublin and Colchies live everywhere else. Um, let me just, um, patch up me lad here now. Uh, I suppose I can take you on there next now, Grant. I'm a junkie you get. You would be, eh? If I'm Dublin! Ah! <laughs> So my favourite thing about a Dublin accent is uh, my impression of a Dublin accent. I can nail it without even saying a word. I can just go, Aah! and you just know that's, that's a Dublin person crying out in pain. <laughs> that's like a lot of my cousins that suffer from Dublin. And um, they were down one night, out, out in the piss with me older brother. This is years ago now. And um, I was rudely awoken at about four or five o'clock in the morning by my Dublin cousin in the bed next to me, just going, ah, ah, me leg, me fucking leg. And uh, he was getting a muscle cramp. <laughs> he was crying out. And my older brother was like, here, stretch it out, stretch it out. And he's like, no, don't fucking touch it. <laughs> so that's, that's where I get that from. The, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> um, no, this is not a good matchup. Better pay attention and switch out. We don't want to lose Sean so soon after getting him. Which leg was it? It was, it was one my brother was willing to touch. <laughs> that one. The ones you can put socks on. Tying cat in a Dublin accent. Jeez, I don't know, that'll be a unique one now. My, my cat accent is not great. Actually, fun fact for those of you, um, I know some people out there that can do like, um, you know, like that Donald Duck thing. It's been many years. Oh, no. Um, okay. Right, so there's a bit of history with the Reggies. I once tried a Nuzlocke challenge before. This is for you who don't know. And Reggies practically squad wiped me once because they have that self-destruct move and um let's hope this is not a repeat of that oh yeah the attack missed when vert 
So let's hope it doesn't go that way. Well, that was already... That was super effective regardless. No, don't miss with this one. Got him. Right, grand. So, panic over. But um, what I will say is, those of you can do like a Donald Duck impression, you know, that kind of... That thing. You can do a really accurate cat afraid um, kind of sound by using that. Just go... <laughs> so, there you go. And that's more pointless information from Ducky. Um, now can I switch that? Or do I have to switch? I'm not sure. I can just approach him from the back there. It is a Tuesday after all. And it's just as well we got that awakening there now as well. Just in case we need him. <laughs> Duck a breath, what the fuck? <laughs> There's no, uh, look, I could do it again, but it's not going to be as funny as the first time. <laughs> Daffy Duck Donald Duck, you know, you know the one. The one that makes that noise. You can do an okay Mickey Mouse impression, yeah. Mickey Mouse impression is essentially the same impression as, like, um, the gingerbread man from Shrek. <laughs> or, like, Pinocchio. I'm not a puppet, I'm a real boy! Um, hit him with the horn there, Lord Horn. Good man, sort him out. The Mickey Mouse just, oh, I can't even do it. My voice, my voice is naturally too low that it just absolutely cracks when I try to go too high. <laughs> I can't. Shocking. I just want to hear it. You get one more and that's it. We'll call, we'll call an end with it then. Oh, watch me make an arse of this now. <laughs> There you go. Just, just for you, A-Tail. Um, I'm already lost. Oh, there we go. Listen here, old man. I heard you were talking shite about me down to town. I've come here to set the record straight. You've been stealing the wheelie bins. You did a song just popped into my head. I don't know if you guys ever watch um, Blind Boy doing streams. He's an Irish streamer, Blind Boy. He makes he often makes songs on his streams, and they're fucking excellent. But I came across one the other day, and it was um he wrote one on stream it was Christy Moore has been stealing the wheelie bins from outside of your mother's house, and it's so fucking catchy. <laughs> it's just been bet into my head. You should have taken the left turn to Albuquerque. There's an old Bugs Bunny reference there, huh? Hey, i got to head out now, but um, good luck with your stream and have a great rest of the night. I oh, will cheers, Itato. Mind yourself. Have a good sleep for yourself there now. Try not to dream about me. And if you do, I hope it's wet. Have you heard it a lot that anyone who's nonce gets castrated? That's a really good rule. I don't think nonce translates well to, like, Irish people. Oh, Barbara Roach, you're... You're a rock water type, isn't he? If memory serves, he's an asshole. Um, I don't want... You see, Big Man's a great man, but he's very susceptible to water, as we discovered almost twice in the last stream, where he <laughs> nearly got one hit. Have you seen a purple burglar? I have seen. That's the, the Scottish lad who can't say a purple burglar alarm, isn't it? <laughs> purple burglar. Sounds like he's choking on a Mickey. <laughs> its evolution is even more of a headache. It would be a good type to have, though, wouldn't it? Water rock. Um, no, we'll just keep Lord Horn out now. There, he's, he's the big guns. What do we have? A Vulpix. Okay, so nothing, nothing shocking with this fella. Did Margot Robbie ever not swallow? Most of the time she didn't, actually, yeah. Which is really irritating. She was more of a... a spit, we'll say. So I don't know, I think she just liked the tattoo of a swallow. 
just wanted the tattoo, got one of a swallow, and then just came up with the joke after the fact. Are we just going to be playing this game? No, we're going <laughs> to... I thought he was just going to keep healing him. Try saying good eye might in a sentence. Um, th that thing with the purple burglar alarm, there's another one. It's um, And it always catches me out, so I have to stop and say it slowly. But it's Irish wristwatch. Try say that three times really fast. What's the crack going, Master? How are you getting on? Hope you're well. Um, let me see here now. We got a new badge, so let's update the badges. Boom! Three badges. I recently watched Blind Boy's RoboGuard skit from the Republic of Telly. I haven't seen... I don't know if I've seen that one now. I've seen a lot of his stuff. Do you see, um... Not Blind Boy, Mr. Chrome. He's his own channel. Fucking... I've forgotten the name of it now, but somebody can tell me in the comments, but he basically, he makes dioramas, and it's fucking excellent. The production value, the, the videos are just hilarious and so well made. Um, somebody in the comments, please tell me, because I'm going to be disappointed now if I don't make some mention of it in the, the stream. But uh, if, you f if you find yourselves with like 20 minutes to kill, check out his channel, it's absolutely excellent. Um, I'm just going to do now a quick thing. Mr. Chrome's channel is going to bug me now until I can think of the name of it. Something Bobby Fingers. Is it Bobby Fingers? I think it's Bobby Fingers. Hold on, let me just fucking get it up here in the background. Just double check now. Tis, Bobby Fingers. Look that channel up whenever you have free time there. That's uh, Mr. Chrome, who's the other half of the the rubber bandits there. So you have blind by Mr. Chrome. But, um... Yeah, that's it's. I've I watched that my seven PJ watched it there a couple of months back, and two of us were just in bits. It was the one uh, particularly with Michael Jackson. <laughs> right, lads. What I'm going to do is I am just going to take a quick toilet and leave the dog out break there. So um, talk amongst yourselves there, and I'll be back in about five minutes. Um, I'm just going to pause that for now. And I'll switch you back to the other thing. I miss anything exciting, did I? What are you chatting about? Ducky probably drugged you. Are you under 16, 100%? Did? I wouldn't waste my drugs on a child. Perfectly good adults I could be giving my drugs to. Gone for five minutes and they're already accusing me of being a pedophile. I suppose I deserve that being a YouTuber and all. <laughs> it's safer to assume a YouTuber's a pedophile than not. <laughs> Saves time. Right, um, where was I? The game. Back to the game there now. Let me just put a pause on there there now when I open back up this game. And uh, me poke a link there so I can have my little cheat sheet there we're going. Dun, dun, da, da. Do, 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 do. Do love my uh, elevator music. <laughs> right, we'll get back to it. What am I supposed to be doing, actually? Um, so we got that gym badge. So according to my notes, I need to barely legal sluts in a creep. Oh, sorry, wrong thing I'm reading. Um, so I got flash. Get the mock bike. Receive rock smash from the house on the right of the Pokemart. Okay, let's do that. There's the Pokemart. So apparently we get rock smash in here. Did I already get it? Hardly. You rock smash. You were like the one person I ignored when I came into the town first.
in Cream Connie Gingerman. No, she wouldn't, no. No, I'm, I'm still, um, you know, waiting on a reply from that doctor that gave her that colonoscopy at the time of how he got into her arse. You know, this will seem to forever remain a mystery for me. Uh, Battle with Wally outside the gym, Channel Watson. Yeah, got that. So Route 17 is where I'm heading to next. And then use Rock Smash, smash the boulders, receive HM strength. Cool. So that was in there. I better actually save. I haven't saved in a while. Um, just pending any massive crashes. Farmer John, how are you doing, Farmer John? Hope you're well. I just realized I didn't allow that one there. Um, cheers, Ducky fan. I appreciate it. That's the daycare. I, I'll show you a little trick with the daycare. Um, for those for those of you playing the game casually. You can give in your Pokemon into the daycare center in there. I'm not going to go in, but... And you can give it to the owners. And what you can do is, if you get a mock bike, you go here. And exactly at this point, you can travel like really far to the left and really far to the right. Keep doing that over and over. Because the experience your Pokemon in the daycare center will get is based on how many kind of steps you take. Which also counts on the bike. So you can literally just power level, low level Pokemon by just going over and back in the screen a handful of times. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not allowed in there because I'm a YouTuber. That's what's... <laughs> Do you want to fight me? No, you just want to tell me about the daycare. I don't care. Um, double battle. Who do we have? Actually, I don't, if I open up that now, I won't have to ask that. Party and boom. Yeah. Fight me. So we're fighting my missus when I give her food, and my missus when she wakes up in the morning. Should be a good fight. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Farmer John says, love your videos. Always brighten my day. Please post on St. Paddy's Day. Uh, first drink could be to a video. I, d I don't know if I will be doing another video for Paddy's Day. I did one years ago, um, and I don't really have anything to add. See, I'm not, I'm not big on Paddy's Day myself. I think it's the worst day of the year you could possibly go out drinking, um, because it just guarantees that uh, you're not going to get served. I went out on Paddy's Day a handful of times in the past, and it's just... Here, lads, I'm heading to the bar. What the fuck? Why did Sean just die? I wasn't even paying attention. What the fuck happened there? Well, shit. How the fuck did Sean get one shot? Somebody fill me in in the comments there. What the fuck just happened there? Shit. <laughs> Genuinely don't know what the fuck just happened. Destiny Bond. Oh, no. Fuck. So if I'm right, Destiny Bond is basically... If that Pokemon you're fighting faints, so does the one that Destiny Bonded with. Shit, that is cheating. That is cheap. Fuck it. Right. So that's that's two we've added to the dead list. Fucking typically be Sean, wouldn't it? Nice, strong water type like himself. Well, shit. And I've, and Sean got us the whole way here in the stream, more or less. So, deposit Sean. Um, release Sean. That's what I need to be doing. <sighs> Destiny bondage, yeah. Destiny fucking CBT is what that is. All right. Goodbye, Sean. It was nice knowing you. And then there was three. Well, technically two, because suckle sucks. Um, I suppose while we're here, not that it's needed, but. And there was me worried that I kind of, ah, I'll just leveled them up too much. You know, there's not going to be much drama or tension on this stream now because maybe Pokemon are a bit, little bit over leveled for the area. And then that, that happens. The game laughs in my face. 
Um, well, at least we can attempt to catch a Pokemon along here anyway. Assuming I have, uh, assuming I have the balls. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a good dad joke. Just shine. Kill poor C Sean. A fucking wobbit cunt. Whatever his name is. Wobble lad. Wobbledy knob. New encounter route 17. Yeah, um, I'm ready for it. I think. We'll see. We might be able to replace Sean. Not that you could replace Sean, but we might have another Sean. Oh, that wouldn't be a bad shout from El Machoke. Do we have anything that wouldn't kill it straight away? So no Big Man. I think Big Man has weaker moves. We'll see. Why not the baby Wobbuffet? <laughs> um, Fury attack. Let's try that. That's fairly low damage move. All right, don't kill him. Calm down. Okay. Um. Can I just uh, switch out to a Pokemon that's not going to fucking? Be very weak to. There we go. Right, let's use some great balls. Ducky uses his patented great balls. Yay, we got a new one. Right, lads, get your name and faces on. Machoke's thoroughly toned muscles. Oh. Possesses the hardness of steel. This Pokemon has so much. I feel like this is so fitting for a Gay Tuesday. As a two minutes to end, two minutes left of Gay Tuesday, and we got a fine hunk of men such as a Macho. It can easily hold a laugh, a sumo wrestler with just one finger. Oh, give it a nickname. Yes, we do. Right, let's see what we got. Arnold Schwarzenegger, bulk, muscly lad, the unit. The unit's not a bad name now, to be fair. <laughs> Mostly lad Tuesday special that, that won't fit Yokozuna St Steel balls some, some decent names in there lads But to some of you When it comes to naming They're just Fucking awful <laughs> Gonna have to let you down gently there um, Gay special not, not too bad Steel balls Hard shaft, hard balls, head turner. Do you know I'm? I'm going to go with uh, Catagon's choice. I'm going to go with the unit, short and sweet, and it kind of fits the motif we've got with Lord Horn and Big Man. Just a team of hard men. Uh, let's go, uh, lower case. Yep. Yeah. I might make one alteration, actually, Katakin, if you don't mind. Um, I'm just going to add just something to it there. <laughs> the G unit. <laughs> don't know why. I can't even explain myself why I find that funny, but... <laughs> Right, um, just gonna heal him up there now and we'll we'll crack on with her. Oh, now I'm gonna have to fucking level him up. At least well, he's like a fighting type, so it's a type we don't really have in our team, so it might help with a bit of variety there. Does the G unit know how to crip walk because he's a G? Oh, he knows it all, yeah. He, he can he can get crump. He can pop them hoes. He can do it all. Out there pimping n-words and popping hoes. 
That's probably not going to be effective. That tangler is like a grass type, isn't it? Oh, super effective. I was wrong. The gay unit. <laughs> That's it, like, he's going to be, like, the old macho there. He's going to be an old chairman fucker. Like, you know, you know when the women see him, they'll just instantly be thinking. Don't ask me why I have that in my soundboard. I just thought it'd make him in handy for a Tuesday, one of the days. <laughs> Ah, oh, here we go now, this fucking hentai monster here we're going up against. Octillery. It's actually not a terrible name for it. <laughs> I thought I was going to hate the name, but that's a pretty good name for what that is. Yeah, let's, let's throw out our G unit there. He actually does look like he's cornrows, you know those kind of three things in his head? It looks like cornrows, it looks like he would be part of the Crips of the Bloods, you know? Yeah, sure, we could we could probably throw in a cheeky low kick there, see how he gets on. Oh no, he could... Oh, it was a critical. Cheeky. G-unit with the low kick, good man. Oh yeah. Already coming up in the world. Oh, we should be able to take... I, I think fighting moves are really effective against flying types if memory serves. Probably not, but... Maybe it's flying that's really effective against fighting. Shit, yeah, I had it backwards. <laughs> Switch him out quick. A good old Doc Ock from Fire Red Nuzlocke. Oh, is that what you named it? Doc Ock. That's actually a pretty good name. Gee, and I might struggle with a woman being 4 foot 11. Well, it kind of had to be that size, otherwise... You just have all the female trainers in the Pokemon world mad to shag a macho. Um, horn attack once worked once before. Let's see if we can do it again. Yep. I come prepared this time, Regis. Right. We're going to go with an old stomp. Stand on me, I small. should have named Vibrator because you know it would have been a great name for him now that I'm uh, thinking about hindsight but we're done now maybe we can use it for a future one Johnny Sins Johnny Sins would have been a fantastic name for Matt Chuck. <laughs> it's just one of those things where like I'm sure all of you are suffering from it and, and it's in the moment when the pressure's on your brain just doesn't function but then after you're like ah oh, that would have been a great name ah shit paralyzed Look, he's the one school food you miss. No, jeez, back when I was in school, it was fair game. They don't, they didn't have all these kind of health things in place there to stop students eating shit, like those vending machines with crisps and chocolate and all that kind of stuff in our school. So it was grand. Well, now um, I've only one paralyzed heal, and I don't really want to be wasting there now. So I should probably pick up more of them actually while I'm back in town. Just to have them handy. Um, Paralyze Heal. Yeah, should give me five of them there just to have them. And we'll just take two more antidotes just in case. And we used an awakening, so... Just a few more great balls there just to have them all stocked up. Super Potion, yeah, give me five of them. Now, we're looking great. My college banned vending machines because they were kept getting destroyed by students. Yeah, now I think the, the school I went to got rid of the vending machines because they brought in these whole like health incentives. I, I think it was countrywide. But um, yeah, every day I used to get like a Mars bar and like buffalo flavored hunky dories. That was my like break time meal. Although they're saying that wasn't all that bad, there was like a local deli in our town as well that would, would actually sell rolls in the school. So you could actually get a decent lunch out of it. 
Um, yeah, you. I bet you. So come here now, you. I bet you. The air is tasty here, right? He's uh, he's got a touch of the tizzies. That's a. Uh... Am I going to get up a fanny wagon 2.0? When I have enough disposable income that I can uh, just do that. Oh, fucking Mewtwo. Oh, unreal. I want it. Can I, can I just, can I just, can I have that? Can I just, just give me that. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> it was worth a shot, lads. It's just as well Mewtwo wasn't portrayed as like a female Pokemon or people would be acting up. Because that's an old, uh, that's an old Instagram body, that is. It's a 2023 Instagram, 2024 Instagram body. Same, we had the delis to come to the school as well. Yeah, I suppose you'd make a fortune off a of school when selling delis and all that. Poison tail, come on, give me a bit of that there. Double kick, Mewtwo's like, got a really good defense. Look at that, not even dent in his fucking health. At least it's not using any kind of mad offensive moves. That's Frieza from... Frieza's actually a great name for it, yeah. Very Frieza colours, alright. Hourglass figure, yeah, has, has that old... Uh, look at what? Horn attack to save shit. Um, I can go back to Poison Tail, so... Ducky, how well do you think... You and the lads would be at Airsoft. Ooh, ooh, that was a strong move. Um, can I get in a quick horn attack and just finish him off there real quick? I don't think we'd be very good at Airsoft at all, to be honest. <laughs> I've done paintball and stuff like that in the past, and it was okay at it, but... Uh, one of the lads got shot in the mouth, actually. So you're doing Airsoft, you're wearing these, like, motorcycle, like... Fucking cross country helmets, I don't know what you call it. You know the ones you'd see them wearing on like motocross and that. They're gonna jut out. But um somehow during the the battle we'll say, he looked up and when he looked up somebody shot him in under the mask. Essentially shot him in the lips. Uh, and he was just spitting out paintball for the evening and it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> What's over here? What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stick out our G unit there because we've only two fighting Pokemon here. <laughs> Ducky found one red flute. Wouldn't be the first red flute I found today, lads, trust me. I need arena. Jesus, I have a, a man with a horn here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would want to have a word with you. Um, low kick? Not very effective. Okay, looks like we're swapping you out. And you're poisoned. Great. Okay, this was a disaster from the off. Looks like you you are getting the horn. You know what you're getting yourself in for, girl? See how you like the horn. Oh yeah, she just wasn't able for it, lads. Absolutely buckled her. She's walking both sides of the road at the same time now, she is. Oh yeah. Um, I need an antidote. For Mr. Unit there. We can get like it up to around level 20, just so I don't have to worry about him getting one shot as much. Should be able to take him. Karate chop. I imagine like the karate chop is just like, I don't know if you guys have seen the movie Black Dynamite. Or no, it was Black Dynamite. I might have, I might be thinking of Austin Powers. It's a like, judo, a chop. <laughs> Oh, 
Um, no, we'll keep him out there now. Fucking full stack party I'm going up against, though. Um, no, flying is effective against fighting, so let's change him out. Uh, horn attack, yep. Yeah. It's just been wall-to-wall -wall horn attacks now on this. Chinchow, or as my friend calls it, Chimichanga. I would have gone for an old chim chimney myself now, but each to their own, you know. Um, stomp, yeah, mix it up, keep it interesting. The G unit is much of a unit. Yeah, well, sure. Like he's he's not he's not been gang banging long enough. You see. He just has to kind of work up the experience to get in. The real challenge will be getting out once you get in, you know? Um, low kick. Uh, one look at G unit, just want to take a bite out of him, don't I? Look at that, two levels already. I didn't know what that was, but we'll chance leaving him out. Nido King! Well, we're probably shagged. But we'll try a low kick anyway. Okay, we can tank that. Not very effective. Um, just gonna give him a potion there. I just, I don't like when their health drops below halfway. I, I just get worried that they'll just be one shot. Ooh. God, G unit loves getting poisoned. You just can't get enough of it. We should at least get another level out of this, or at least close to it. Yeah, that'll do. And we'll send out Eggman. Ducky, I'm working on a TV show, lad, about vets. So excited. Were you working on a TV show in what way? You're like, you're making videos for YouTube, or what are you doing there? Oh. Oh, no. That would have been the perfect thing for G-Unit to fight. G-Unit versus the hose. Ah, well. Maybe some other time. G-Unit's in a bit of a bad way there. I'm right when, like, a genuine TV show. Oh. Well, who are you working for? Like, is it just, like, a studio thing? Or are you just selling the script? Or what are you doing? Um, do I want to change? No. Duskull. Horn attack won't work on him, will he? Because he's a ghost. Yeah. Fuck. I have nothing there that'll work on him. Do I have any moves that'll work on him? This could be a problem. Maybe Poison Tail, actually. I don't think that's an actual physical. Yeah, there we go. We're going. Ducky upgraded earlier to the price of a pint package. Can't wait to see my name in the credits. Oh. You're talking about, like, the Patreon tier, yeah? I hope it's not too long. Because they end up running off the end of the screen. But, um, yeah. I, I look forward to seeing it. Um, antidote, that's what I need. Um, nope. 
But what did this bug catcher have? Just all legendaries. Venusaur. I don't know if grass is going to be any good against G Unit. I kind of just want him out to get the experience, so I'll just swap him out there for now. Ah, shit, you uploaded the other day. I guess I gotta wait seven months. It'll be about two weeks, I think, when my next video's away. I like, I've just been absolutely bogged down, like, literally the last three or four days with just trying to fix the crashing issue I've, I've been having on my PC, which seems solved. We're like two hours into the stream now, and. No freezes, no hiccups, no nothing, so I, I'm safe to say I've, I've solved it, but, um, yeah, I just fucking want to get back to doing the video now. But uh, I should have it done. Like, all the heavy lifting is done, I just need to do the create the clips, the frames. But it's all written and drawn, all the backgrounds are drawn and everything, so. No. Yeah. You're going to wake up at any stage, big man. There we go. There we go. One shot. Good man, big man. You're really coming into your own. Yeah, we'll just keep using this old swapping out trick. Where do you get the experience share, actually, Catacomb, while you're in the chat? I know it's probably a little bit later, but... God, that'd be handy right now. Um... No oh, cheeky low kick there. Would I be able to take this lad? No. Not very effective. Uh, nothing else is going to be effective on him. Watching Ducky while getting head is a great thing. Too bad I'm not getting head. <laughs> Thought you were going to go the other way with it. And watching Ducky and head is a great thing to combine. Only for it's hard to talk on my mouthful. Um, Ducky change Pokemon. Yes, I will. One of your finest G's from your unit, please. Um, I made a short film on YouTube about a dating show for rats and people seem to think it was funny. Yeah, well, sure, fuck it. Look, that's how it goes. Putting um, what's in your brain to what's on the screen. Because I want people, like, go to... Um, he's going to, like, electrocute me straight away, so let me just get out big man. But, like, when people talk about, like, becoming YouTubers or uh, creating content or anything like that, um, the, like, the biggest uh, thing from stopping people from actually doing it is them not even starting doing it. The amount of people that'll sit there all day and talk about making stuff and not actually make stuff and then just eventually just not realise that dream at all. Like, the biggest thing holding you back is just not staring at it. It's like when I, when I meet people in the real world and they're just like, fucking, oh, you're, you're YouTubing now. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And they're like, how'd you get into that? And you're like, I just did it. And people thought it was weird for a while, but then one day it started working and people stopped questioning what I was doing. What do we got? What do we got? Be a master ball. Be a master ball. Cherry berry. Fuck. It's right over here. Hey, rare candy. Okay. We didn't come away empty handed. I will link the film for you if I can find it. Yeah, do. I don't know if links in this chat are working and I'm not a thousand percent sure on how to actually enable them for people. But you can try it, it might prompt me to allow or not on the, the thing. Um, who have we got here? Wanda's house. Is this the one that sells the, the horrible Pokemon things? Oh, Ducky, Wally's next door. But boy, there's something I have to tell you. This natural environment is doing wonders for Wally's health. Maybe it's not just the environment, it could be the Pokemon that are giving the boy hope. So am I supposed to talk to Wally or, uh... uh oh, sorry, Katakin, I missed that. It's in Rustboro in Devoncorp. Talk to the president. Uh, oh, is that not where I came from? I have to go out back there. I assume I'm kind of heading back that direction anyway, aren't I? 
Looked it up. It's Ross Perot in the Devon Corp. Talk to the president, Grant. Do you have anything for me? No? Maybe this is the one that says... There's, there's a person in this game who says, like, horrible potions and stuff like that. They're actually a little bit cheaper. But the Pokemon don't like them, so you won't gain any um, affection from your Pokemon. Got a center here anyway, that's good. That's the electric rat you said. This was the description for it. We all heard of a dating show like The Bachelor, but what happens when some uh, of life's furriest critters look for love? Oh, I thought you were going to go down the furry route with that there for a second. I was like, oh god, I'm not reading this. Uh, <laughs> The Ratchelor. <laughs> Hilarious puppet satire of reality TV showing the lives of some literal love rats in the best comedy uh, of the festival award-winning film. Do you know who'd uh, love that now? Connie. Connie had um, two rats as well. So she she can jump on board with some rat-themed comedy. But um, yeah, no, I'll check it out. Pretty much after you get it, um, give the letter to Stephen and do for dog, Grant. Much appreciated, lad. And just see if I'm missing it. That wasn't a demon, that was just my dog deciding to choke on his own spit. What have we got in here? Right, a tunnel. Um, did I teach Rock Smash to Suckle? I don't think I did. No, give him that anyway. He's going to be my old HM slave. We'll leave Rap there just, just for the sake of Hyper. <laughs> the last thing we want is having a suckle that can't rap. <laughs> and uh, I'll just give it a cheeky save now just because I've spooked myself talking about my PC problems there a while ago. Search, search up the Ratchelor film, the thumbnail is Ratchelor. Oh, okay, that's it's easy enough to remember there. I'll, I'll have a look at it after the stream. Um, yeah. I've officially saved Suckle's rapping career. You have indeed, Hyper. You have indeed. That is me man off the Big Bang Theory, isn't it? What if I give him an old cheeky low kick? Does all, the old G unit has a fair old attack on him. Let me let, let me see his stats. I have it up here. His attack is forty four. So his attack is almost as good as Lord Horns, and he's not near that level at all. So yeah, it's extra power behind the old fighting moves. Farmer John, I'm thinking of doing a trip to Ireland in the future, and. Uh, any places you suggest to aim for? Well, it depends where you're from. Because Ireland's a pretty small country in the grand scheme of things. Like, if you go somewhere around the centre, you're going to be no more than about two or three hours from any given point in the whole country. The least move to make room for a seismic toss. Yeah, well. Leer is absolutely useful. What's seismic, seismic toss? Inflicts damage identical to the user's level. Alright, fair enough. It's not going to be terribly useful because... It, uh, oh, maybe it'll be useful later on. A Moltres. Um, it's a flying type. That's going to be no good. Big man and perfect, perfect man for the job, big man. I just imagine if like big man had a cry, but it was just like, "What are you saying?" <laughs> that if you use Pokemon call. <laughs> Could be the nature of your unit is. Let me see, I have it up there. Uh, his nature is quirky. Quirky neutral. I have a thing on the side here that Pokelink will tell me all the the deeper stuff at a glance. 
I will change. We'll throw back out G unit there. Be careful, I had seismic toss a few weeks ago. <laughs> and it still hurts to me. <laughs> yeah, sure, just heading off there for an old seismic toss. <laughs> That wasn't particularly powerful now with that. Togetic? To How do you even pronounce that? Togetic. I'll try the karate chop if that's any better. Not particularly. We might get one more slap in anyway before he falls asleep. Big man has been a truly big man. He is. Now that I understand big man's weaknesses, which is. Seems to be grass type moves and water type moves. Once I avoid those two absolutely devastating moves to him, um, he's pretty good. Level 20. Now, let me see. He's not going to fall asleep all of a shot, is he? I want to wander deeper into the cave here. I want to see what's what's down here. <gasps> it's another big man. A little cheeky low kick there. That'll one hit him. One shot him. Suckle a fan of Valium. Lots of drugs he does. He'd season his steak with it. Might do. Don't know. I'd have to ask him. Good thing metronome wasn't explosion. Yeah. What is the what is the power of explosion? It's got to be over a hundred, is it? Even bigger man. <laughs> Battle of big man. Rip little man. How does it feel knowing your handsome and humor are wasted on twelve year olds, Ducky? Um, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It gets me up in the morning. Funnily enough, I, um, I know it's, it's best not to trust YouTube's analytics for this type of thing, but, um, according to my back, oh, wait, no, I'll drop my glasses, yeah, they're around here somewhere here. I know they're fucking something. Like that. But according to my analytics, most people on my watch my videos are like, um, like it's very close, but it's between 18 and 24 and between 18 and 30 something. But that's like the vast majority of the people who watch my channel. The problem is like not a lot of 12 year olds can relate to going on the piss with your mates. Okay, so his glasses are not around there. Are they good? Is that them? Quick claw. Where the fuck is these glasses? Are they in the cave? Do I have an item finder? I don't think I do. Okay, so it's along here somewhere. Oh, there we are. Oh no, that's an Asper Berry. No response, so it's maybe over here. Alright, I know because th this thing is based off of like what pixels are visible on your screen. It's probably inside the cave, are they? <laughs> you realise he's a YouTuber, 12 year olds get him up. <laughs> oh, do I actually just talk to him again after picking up that berry? Hold on, let me just double check. Maybe they're not around here. Yeah, he just fucks off. I think the glasses were randomized. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if that just break whatever he was about to give me. Oh well. I think if you do find these glasses, they're like, no, no, they're th them ones are not mine. 
I'm digging deep into the recesses of my mind now to dig that out. What in God's name is that? Schmergel? Schmier- Schmiergel? That just sounds like something you'd do to your missus of a fancy night. Oh, yeah. Sure. Absolutely schmiergled all over her face. <laughs> the fuck am I even saying? It's Schmiegel. Yeah, just randomly out of nowhere. Schmiegel from Lord of the Rings. Um, I'm no low kick there. See how you're getting on there, G-Unit. Now, who's just used Rock Smash and smashed his young one. He's digging a tunnel to come see me. He works his hands raw, rough. Benefit for everyone. Listen, never mind your fella there now. I'm here now. You needn't worry about him. I'll sort you out. Look at him, lad. He can't have best. A, a schmattle boulder. <laughs> Actually, I'll take it back. Now that I've broken that rock, he's gorgeous. I'm having him instead. Sorry, love, we're running away together. He's, he's just breaking her heart there. Yeah, going over to her house, collect all his stuff. He's moving in with me. Schmierglid. <laughs> yeah, my, my ability to pronounce names of Pokemon is uh, terrible. But I also love it, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah, the poor lad was down bad. Just what he, he just wanted a quick toss over the rock there, but sure. She's just like, no, no, break the rock if you want to toss, you know, just all these tests. Uh, da, 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 what have you got me? Most wonderful story, blah, 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 yeah. Token of appreciation. A repeat ball. May or may not come in handy, we'll see. Uh, da, da, da. Did I go this direction? I didn't. But now we have caught. And the G unit. On our side, so we can fight him. You know, the white part of your trainer's head isn't actually his hair, it's his hat. Fuck off, really? I always just assumed he was wearing a headband and just had white hair all of a sudden. Or for, for no particular reason. You've just blown my fucking mind. Was he in the anime? Was, there, was this revealed in the anime at some stage? What kind of hat is, is he even in? Yeah, I know, right? I'm with you on this. What kind of... Like, is there any way I can look? Like, it just looks like he has white hair because he's an anime kid. Like, you know, I didn't question it. Yeah, I thought the same back. I think everybody did. It's just going to be the accepted truth. Like, what kind of hat has spikes sticking out of the back of it? Hair, those, not hats. Watch me beat the shit out of this child. Oh shit, that's a ghost type, isn't it? None of his moves are gonna work now. Send out Lord Horn. No way in fuck is that a hat. Of <laughs> if it's a white rubber glove. Yeah. It's a weird old shape for a hat. Like, you know, if it is a hat, like, most beanies are fairly spherical. There's not a lot of edge to them. So it's a bizarre one. 
But like, again, anime kid could be could be absolutely anything. Could be the shape of his head for all we know. Tyrog. Tyrog. The Tyrog is like, kind of reminds me of my nephew when he wants to fight me. You know, he's got that stance about him. You know, when he comes up and he's like, fight me. Then you drop kick him into the face. Then everyone's shouting at you for beating up a child. You know how family gatherings go. No, he wasn't in the anime. I think he was in an animated short of Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. Ugh, Omega Ruby. Although that had him. Although that had him. Oh. Such a random, weird detail of that character. Look, you say it in game right now, or you're going to get done on Twitter. <laughs> I fear not the cancellation of Twitters. I don't even fucking use it half the time. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I, and I really want to know what that is now. That's just no encounter. Oh. Right, we got we're going up against man bear pig should be a quick and easy one talk your word of advice never say anything bad about taylor swift fans that's ah, just the teenage girls they obsess over everything it doesn't really matter sure the last thing they were all going mad about was that bts band you know there's always going to be something new oh my bag is full i tried to pick it up already what the fuck is a guard spec anyway um, me bag is full. Fucking tell me about it. I don't think I need a guard spec anyway. I'm gonna start selling shit or giving stuff to Pokemon. Um, what's a good thing? I can give Quick Claw to something here. Now. I'm just gonna try to free up me bag here now. Hold on. Um. Macho Brace, hold on, that promotes growth but reduces speed. Ground type. What type is Big Man? Big Man's a ground type, is he? Or is he a normal type? Let me see. He's ground and rock. Okay, perfect. So I can just give him that. That'll boost. So that's Big Man's holding something that'll boost him. Um, did they dive two of them? Or did they just still show up in their bag when... Weird. Um, Macho Brace. Piece of all. Waterstone. I'm going to get rid of the Thunderstone Mars. Like, I don't know if I actually need them or not. Maybe I actually just put them in my item box. Hang on to them till later. Um, deposits. No, not Pokemon. Um, no, wrong one. I'm... Ducky species, that's the one I uh, Deposit item. Right, so things I don't need right now, so. Don't need that. Macho Brace. Yeah, probably won't use that. Soft Sand. Everstone. Prevents Pokemon evolution. Maybe. Just leave it in there for the meantime. Steel type moves. Just hang on to those. Yeah, that's fine. You can see sideburns and black hair. Yeah, but again, you just you just think it's an anime thing. He's just got like silver highlights for no good reason. You know? You wouldn't really question it. this fella let this fella know I delivered his letter or something didn't it I'll talk to you uh, 
uh, don't probably repeat all the time around, blah, blah. Deliver my letter. Thank you kindly. It's on the way for the train. There we go. Experience share. Ideal. Um, so that's something I can actually give our G unit there now. Um, let's see. Experience share. Give G unit. So now when he's out in front, he's going to get like two thirds of the experience rather than just half on his hotmail. Welcome back, Sergeant Ducky fan. Yeah, in the door. So where do we go from here? Right, we're in Rustball City. Let me read this walkthrough. So get the mock bike, acro bike, yeah, did that. Battle Wally outside Chatham Watson, Watson did that. Route 17, Rudolph Town, Rustoff Tunnel. Use the Rock Smash Boulders, receive HM Strength. Route 17, routes 111 to 112. Hmm. So I need to find route 111 to 112. Where in God's name is that? That's 115. Do I have to go back? There's probably something this way, is there? Hold on, let me just look at me poking now, now really quick. Seventeen, that's that. Okay, I need to head back that way. Well, shite. Because that's 111, we're going up this way. I don't think there's a shortcut, is there? You can just go back to that one. Uh, right, lads. Uh, I'm way for a twank and to sleep. Hitting the sack and going to bed, Viper. You are good man. Have a good one, lad. At least I've all these fellas bet anyway, so I don't have to be going through grueling battles on the way there. Nice. Another level on G unit there. Foresight. I don't think I ever use that move. What does it do? Foresight negates the foe's efforts to heighten evasiveness. Yeah, that's to be... That's fucking... Raise the power... Critical hit ratio. That's more helpful. Yeah, no, I don't want foresight. Dead Fox, how you doing? Uh, I randomly found your content on YouTube as I typed in stupid customers since I work at a 7-Eleven and I need... Uh, needed a laugh. I have watched your entire series about three times. <laughs> God, it's, like, it's, it's easily my favourite series of videos on the channel. Just because it was a way for me to kind of vent my frustrations while I was working in retail. Because it was just therapy for me. Just get in, in from work. Just vent all my frustrations out in a sheet of paper. I know looking back on it now, because those videos are a few years old at this stage. Looking back on it now, um, from the outside looking in, like if you never worked in retail, I must really come across as a whingy bastard. Like just somebody just complaining over nothing, but... People who work in retail, just they, they, those videos just, just live within them, you know? It's just like, yeah, no, I absolutely get this. People are really irritating. Art is the best ther therapy sometimes. Well, it's great for, like, I don't know, when you're very unhappy with your life. You could kind of use that in more creative ways or constructive ways rather than destructive ways. I, I found it. Uh, look, it's it's actually like re my older videos. The reason I was able to pump them out that little bit faster as well, despite the you know the kind of the, ha the difference in effort that goes into videos now compared to what they were back then, is the writing because it's very easy to write about stuff that you're annoyed with when you're angry. 
Um, it just comes to you really quick because you just you just you're venting essentially is what you're doing. But when you're like writing stories, it's a bit more challenging because you're you're looking for the comedy in it. What are you playing on? I'm playing on an emulator. Oh god, um, I know these lads here now. There's there's going to be battle after battle here, and in the vanilla game, one of them is really difficult, but I can't remember why. But we'll battle them anyway. Thanks for watching me film nicely. I haven't watched it yet, but we'll we'll see. I'll, I'll save my judgment until I see it. Um, he's a bug type. I don't think. Sure, I'll give him an old seismic toss here. Wow, that was super effective. I don't like that. No low kick there, sort of out. Um, I don't like how his moves are always been super effective. I'm not sure, look, he has an experience here. I don't need to take this bully and I can just send out the big man there to start him out. Gunmaster said, my dad recently got an emulator from a friend and it has 32,000 games on it. You can do that nowadays, yeah, because the, the old retro games, are just the file sizes are so small. Um, games on it, we plan to fit it in the living room TV. Yeah, you can get, um, what's it, Raspberry Pis, the little kind of mini computers. They can load a fuck ton onto that. I think like Wish.com and AliExpress and stuff like that. I don't know if Wish is actually still a thing, but um, AliExpress and all that kind of sell them as well. You can just use little kind of handheld consoles that play emulated games on them. Uh, just this past weekend, gas pumps were down and I had people come in and be like, I see the pumps aren't working, can I still use them? I was thinking in my head, what level of stupid are you exactly? Oh God, I used to work in, in a petrol station as well. And yeah, you do get that. It's like, I'm sorry, I see the, the the doors are closed, all your lights are off, you have a closed sign up. Are ye open? Fucking, yeah, no, the general public will make you lose any faith you will have in humanity. I don't like when I was working in a petrol station before, this, like, no word of a lie, this, like, six-year-old came up to the counter and asked for a box of cigarettes. And I was like, no, I can't give you a box of cigarettes, obviously. Like, <laughs> the fucking size of you, quit. And he's like, they're for my mother. And I was like, look, I'm sure they are for your mother, but, like, your mother is going to have to come in and get them. I can't sell cigarettes to a fucking six-year-old. Like, so uh, he wandered out to the, the car. Now, this was like a petrol station. So, so his mother was, like, in the car, in the forecourt, not 20 foot away. And he walked out anyway. And in she comes, like a fucking steam train. Stormed up to the counter, plodded up to the counter. Why didn't you sell him the cigarette? Sure, he's only six years old. He's not fucking smoking. And I was just looking at her going, are you out of your fucking mind? I'm not selling a six-year-old cigarettes because you're too lazy to walk 20 fucking feet. My God, if she didn't flip when I said that. <laughs> so I go, oh, yeah, I'm going to risk my job and sell a, a six-year-old cigarettes because you can get your fat ass out of the car, you fucking dribbly old trollop. But yeah, no, the general public cunts. I hate it when parents use their kids to do shit for- Oh, it's the laziest thing in the world. Actually, I seen like a meme online the other day and I was like, it actually cracked me up because it's so true. But it was just like, um, when a father says to their kid, hey, help your mother. It's like, she's your wife. Was that? She, wait, you fucking, yeah, you're with her. She's your wife. You help her. You're her husband. <laughs> I was like, yeah. My brother was guilty of that, where he, like, sends the children out and says, run out to the car there and get me phone, or just that and the other. I'm like, you lazy shit, get off your own arse and do it. Um, this is going dreadfully, so I'm sending back out big man, and he'll sort him out. Grimly, delighted to make the stream for once, he says. Have you got, or have you tried a ROM hack Emerald Rogue? 10 out of 10 ROM hack. Oh, I'll check that out. I assume the ROM hack is just, like, a modded version of the ROM. It's, it's probably something ridiculously fucking stupid now, isn't it? Uh, Dead Fox says, I had some kid be like, my 13th birthday, can you sell me beer? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, you get that. I've told this story before on stream, but I remember um, when I was working in a Euro 50 store, like a 
pound shop or dollar store for wherever you're from. And they came across root beer, which is like a really rare thing in Ireland. Like root beer is just, root beer is not something common you'd find anywhere. Um, but because I worked in a pound shop, you'd find just a load of weird brands and shit. And like this 12 year old, 13 year old or whatever he was, spotted this root beer and came up to the counter and he was being all cagey. You know, being all weird about it. I was like, what the fuck is this kid's problem like? And then I realized, I was like, it's root beer. He thinks this is actual beer. He thinks I'm selling him beer. <laughs> so it's just like, all right. So I was like playing along with it and everyone. I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's your now, but don't go and tell anyone with it. And like 20 minutes later, in he comes with a gang of like five lads. And they're all like picking up like three cans of it each. They're all thinking they're going on the piss. <laughs> no idea that it's not actual beer. Yeah, it's modded version of Emerald, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. It's Pokemon Rogue, like, um, I think you'd enjoy it. Uh, also a story from... Oh, story from Cork. Only down the road, lad. Only an hour away. Yeah, I'll have a look into that there, yeah. I'll say once I pass this Nuzlocke channel challenge, I'll be all pokemon out for another while, but be certainly an idea for a future stream, all right. Oh, fighting the grandmother now. The big guns are coming out. Um... My family used to own a pub and I briefly worked in CEX, where I came from. Uh, some stupid feckers, but the supervisor was was only, was only also insufferable, yeah. A bad job is tolerable if you work with good people, because then you can all complain about it and bitch and moan amongst yourselves. But when you're actually working with insufferable people, it makes the job a thousand times worse. And so much for the big guns with this one. Well, listen, I bet I bet you all there, so you better give me something from your troubles. So one of their, their, their brother or their son or whatever is one of the, the Elite Four. Don't I already have a Macho Brace? I'll check now in a second, I'll just... I think I already have a Macho Brace. I think it's randomly found one, didn't it? So I probably have two of them. Macho Brace. A hold on him that promotes going to reduce. Yeah, I think I just put it away into the item box. Uh, where are we going next? Fight me? No. I'm just like, I'm getting flashbacks. Oh, you fight these lads. They're actually quite strong. Um, uh, but Gino and Lord Horn. Yeah, big man and Lord Horn now that. There's a, a little. If you're playing this game casually as well, there's a thing you can get. I think it like doubles your money. It's like a hold item. But if you use that and actually just fly around the map, because these people like the. These two trainers, they spawn randomly around the map, or at least in a pattern. You can just fly to their location every time, but you can basically farm money with these. You get about, like, I think it's like 4,000 or 8,000 credits at a time. Right, Andy. Right, so one of them's a water type. So the Lick Tongue and... Right, the CEO can die first, because that will cause big man hassle. Right, so we eliminated the water threat. But Lickitung has a move that will fuck me up as well, as far as I remember. I think a Lickitung might have been the one that took out Foxy. And we just horn attack him there. You can get a fishing encounter around that house, by the way. Oh, I suppose we could try catch another one, yeah. The more the merrier. Because we haven't caught one on this route yet. Gene recruit level 24. To be honest, lads, I don't think I'm going to beat the game. I think the Nuzlocke is going to beat me. Yeah, I'll give you an interview, lads. Not a bother. What was our f feeling on the battle? Okay, let's see. 
Um, I have feelings. Um, is there a feeling of despair there somewhere? No. No, it's not there. Disappoints, disaster, dislike, downcast on. No, no depression. No. Come on, give me something funny. Want. Smell a want off you. That'll do. Smashing so, um We're going to the house to catch a Pokemon. This spot here, I assume. Let's uh let's cast our big old rod in there and see what we can find. What do we got? What do we got? A fire snail. Mag cargo. Right, that shouldn't be too difficult to catch, surely. Um What moves does G-Unit have? Um, I could just chance trying to catch it because it's a fairly low level. I could just lob a great ball at it and see. Chance it. Okay, that, that didn't work. Rock troll, which is a ground move. Um, I could try Suckle. Suckle is not... Overly strong. I just don't know if Suckle's going to be like super weak to him. No, he's not, Grant. Um, I suppose, uh, cut. Okay, that's really weak on him. Um, rock smash. Oh, that was super effective. Oh, and it barely hurt him because Suckle fucking sucked. I'm sure I just hit him with a few times there. Yeah, you would Suckle, wouldn't you? Uh, I have an old berry that I can rather than save or waste in a. No. Ten super potions, and then fuck it, that'll do. Bit of a waste, but sure. Just don't want him fainting now when my old HM slave. Uh, what's the actual rules on a Nuzlocke run if your HM slave dies? <laughs> Could you just leave him fainted and still use him for HMs? Probably not. Be a bit cheeky. That's why it's called Suckle. It really is, yeah. It's certainly earned its name. Alright, it might be enough to catch him in the yellow. Uh, if it dies, you can leave it fainted and use it. Nobody really cares about HM. Oh. Good to know. Right. Throw an old great ball. Nope, not low enough. Only if you're stuck. Yeah, I'll have to check out the actual agreed upon rules on that when I uh, end the stream. Uh, there we go, now we're going to be able to catch him. Hopefully, we'll see. Mag Cargo, there we go. Mag Cargo's shell is actually its skin that's hardened as a result of cooling. Its shell is very brittle and fragile. Just touching it causes it to crumble apart. This Pokemon returns to its original size by dipping itself in magma. Ah, you know, magma tea bag. No, I actually already have a name for this one. Somebody on the previous stream, and I can't remember who, but coined a great name for a fire type. And, um,. Now, uh, 
and I will explain it in a bit. Now, there you go. Now, for those of you unfamiliar, there's a, an, an old Irish man who's like a celebrity talk show host called Gay Byrne, B-Y-R-N-E. But um, somebody suggested on the last stream, if you ever get a fire type, it'd be the perfect name for him. And I agree. So here's Gay Byrne. <laughs> now we're just gonna, I'm just going to do a quick old uh, Poker Center run there now, just get everybody back up to speed. Five in the party though, not too bad. Well, what level is Gabe Byrne though? It's level 10, that's not great. Ducky, cats or dogs? Oh, it has to be dogs. Cat cats just behave like they don't even like people. Dogs be lost without you. Rip Gay Boy, yeah. <laughs> Such an unfortunate name to... Like, why would you name your child Gay as their first name? I mentioned this last stream as well, but me man in fucking Formula One. I don't know which I don't know what team he's part of now, but um Is it McLaren? I can't remember. Maybe Aston Martin, but his name is Mike Crack. And you're just like uh, some some names you're just like, why? You must have known parents when you were naming your child that. You must have known. Um, yeah, we're going to continue to help G Unit make his way up the ranks. Put experience here. I mean, yeah, I just want to kind of bolster G Unit's XP first. I like to have at least a few, like, really strong ones, and then I can be working away in the, the weaker ones in the back, then, once it's the, the main ones are kind of strong enough. And um, that didn't really hurt him all that much. Let's throw a big man there, he can do something. Uh, horn attack, it. Yeah. Hello. Would you rather a British Bulldog or an XL Bully? Oh, you gotta love the British Bulldog. Love an old Bully. My brother has an XL Bully, but um, I'm, I'm more fond of the, the classic Bully. Just because they're like... I, I know I made a joke about this in the video in the past, but they, they look how I feel. <laughs> you know? Although the health problems that Bulldogs have are ridiculous. They come with like a massive amount of health problems, so you want to be careful about what kind of one you have. Probably shouldn't have done that. I'm going to get paralyzed, aren't I? No, I was going to get paralyzed either way. Oh, yeah, sure. He's probably immune to poison. That was a terrible choice. Um, Big man will sort him. I still can't believe you parked on the top of Patrick's Hill. Like, I don't think it was Patrick's Hill. I think Patrick's Hill is the other side of the city. The one we parked at the top of it was... Um, Patrick's Hill is like is a really steep hill. It's, if it's the one I'm thinking of, it's a really steep hill, but it's actually quite short compared to the one we walked up. The one we went up was a... It was a fairly long hill. It wasn't as steep, but it was just so long. It's like it didn't end. But if you look, if you're watching that video, I actually drew the hill. I was using Google Maps Street View as a reference. So like a lot of the places that I drew in that video actually matched the real life places in Cork that I'm talking about. My bro and his girlfriend live in Canada and they have a husky and a Samoid. I don't even know what a Samoid is now. The missus would know. I'd love a husky, but I, they have way too much energy for me. You couldn't just, you couldn't skip a walk, you know, and you're just feeling lazy. You're like, ah, I'll skip out on the walk today. You couldn't do that with a husky. They, they wouldn't let you live it down. Uh, Route 111, 112, Grant. Switch you, Grant. 
Oh, you went up the one on the south side. That makes sense now. Yeah, that one. It was some housing estate. I don't know. We were we all weren't super familiar with Cork, so we ended up just parking miles away from the centre. That's why it was such a, a pain in the dick to get into town and back. A Samoyed is a white husky. It's an absolute floof. Oh. Revenge. What's revenge? An attack that gains power if injured by foe. I mean, it's going to be better than focused energy. Like, it's still an attack, so that'll do. Ah, tis yourself. How are you, says Shaz. How are you doing, Shaz? I hope you're well. Are you streaming tonight at all, or... What are you up to, you know, yourself? Um, I'm not changing out, no. At least Cork City is fucking tiny. Hardly lost it. Yeah, but you're like, when you're from the big city of, like, Tipperary, you know? <laughs> sure, just let I get lost in my own house. It was, oh, the one where I just bet is the one you nicknamed me, is it, Cadigan? Yeah. <laughs> I, suppose, I can see it. I can see it. I can give you that much. I like to think my expression isn't nearly as vacant, though. <laughs> um, we'll be here for a while. How's the Pokemon going? Are you catching them all? I've I've caught every one of them. Don't 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 check that. But I've caught every single last one of them. <laughs> Throwing balls. I, I've been walking the streets of the, the Pokemon region with my, my great balls. Uh, I think I've been doing a fantastic job. I think I've, I've done such a fantastic job that, like, my old teachers from primary school have rang me up on my phone during the stream and told me how, how proud they are of me, how great I turned out, you know? <laughs> Um, no, I'm not going to chance. He's somewhat of a flying type, so I won't chance putting him up against. Let's just allow that comment here. The problem is, um, the Automod is picking up Gay Burn <laughs> as a, an insult or whatever. That Automod is so sensitive. Jesus. Um, I'll, I'll just keep hitting it with the horn attack, I suppose. I don't know what to do here. Isn't he dead now? He is, yeah. I don't know how long ago it was. So. In the shop I used to work, his, um, his daughter used to come in there the whole time. I used to think it was that. That's what, that's what one of the lads I worked with told me now. I don't really kind of keep up with who's who, but I was told that um, his daughter used to come in out of the shop the whole time. Let me see. I'm in a bad way, Father. Now. He died on the 4th of November 2019. So, yeah, four, three and a half, four years ago, something like that. So weird, like I always remember Gay Byrne just being the same age. He never, never got older, never got younger. Just he was just one age, and then he died. Um, electric fucker. Um, let me just stick him out there. Sad day when he died. Just like when we lost Brendan Grace. Oh yeah, yeah. God, I love him in Father Ted. That Father Ted episode. He's played so, so angry and so dry. It was brilliant. What are we watching? <laughs> he walks through. We're watching the sports day. Bunch of fellas running around in shorts. But you're imagining what they'd look like without the shorts, aren't you? You're sitting there, imagining that, with a big smile on your face. Dirty fecker. <laughs> big man is trying to learn rock blast. Jeez, that sounds good. Let's see. Hurls boulders at the foe two to five times in a row. Oh, yeah, not too bad. Um, 
It's going to be better than Scary Face anyway, so that'll do. Extra bit of offense there from. Marty William from Wind Streak was just aged forever. Yeah. I suppose you just don't register these things when you're younger. You don't register kind of how old people are. And as, as you get older, then you just kind of they drop off your radar. Um, yeah, let's see, Lord Horn, out you go there. I've had my fun, and that's all that matters. <laughs> so I go regularly. Yeah. <laughs> I have the keys to your car. And I drove it into a big wall. And if you don't like it, tough. <laughs> I, I think of all the... It's a fat or Finton stack as he played. I think it's the name of the, the priest he played. But I think my favourite quote of him all time was just like... If you ever say that to me again... I'll put your head through the wall. <laughs> Such a sinister threat. He didn't even sound angry. He was just so sure of himself. I have two sounds uh, on my soundboard from Father Ted. Oh yeah, you have to have a bit of Father Ted if you're going to have like an Irish team soundboard. Um, well, stick out G on it there. Cowboys, Ted! There are a bunch of cowboys! <laughs> ah, Jesus, Ted, you could talk that into coming down. God, it's a funny, I don't, I only watch Father Ted when I'm hanging out with the boys, just because all of us can quote the living bejesus out of it. Right. Lads, I think I'm actually fairly burnt out now from this game. I think I've, I've hit my, my gaming and social limit for the night. So uh, I think I'm going to save it here. Um, that's the wrong thing. Yes, I'm going to save. Smashing. Right, lads. Thanks, everybody, for tuning into the stream um, and uh, hanging out with me from that while I was playing a bit of Pokemon. And we'll pick this up in a couple of days, probably, most likely. And uh, I will chat to you then. Go on. Take care of yourselves.